Hello, I'm um, one of the costume curators that works at Manchester Art Gallery um, and I'm currently, like all the curators, working from home. Um, so I wanted to um, show you, bring to your attention one of the really nice pieces that we've been able to acquire recently for the collections. Um, the piece I've selected is by Cristobal Balenciaga, who was um, certainly one of the finest couturiers of the 1950s and 60s, and possibly the most adventurous. Um, Christian Dior himself, um, and I paraphrase here a bit, said, if Hope Couture is an orchestra, then Balenciaga is the conductor. Um, all the other couturiers are members of the orchestra and he directs us, which is quite a nice compliment. Um, the dress, which you are hopefully looking at, um, is quite a striking number in a sort of egg yolk yellow, um, a, a rich, heavy satin. And I think you can see from the model that um, Balenciaga was fond of disguising the figure um, just as much as revealing it. Uh, and quite often the female form is, um, is not obvious. This model is, um, has a hired um, hem at the, at the front and lowered at the little train at the back. Uh, it has this very striking contrasting uh, black tulle uh, deep hem, um, which uh, draws attention very much to the, to the hem of the dress. And the rest of it is very, very simple. Um, Balenciaga was um, really born to be a couturier. His mother was a seamstress. Sorry, that's the grandfather clock in the background. And um, he, um, he was um, apprenticed to a tailor um, in San Sebastian, in the Basque region of Spain. Um, and in fact, at the age of 22, he opened his own fashion house in San Sebastian. Um, which was his initial house. He then later opened um, separate branches, if you like, in Madrid um, and um, Barcelona. And finally opened his big new house in Paris in 1937. Um, he was very celebrated during the night, after the war, really, in the 1950s, as I've said, um, for being provocative. So he'd had various lines, um, the trapeze line, not Dior's one, but a, a, a baby doll trapeze line one. Um, the sack dress. Um, and then very much in the 60s, he experimented with geometric shaping, as in this dress. Um, this was actually from his final show in the spring, summer 1968, um, after which he closed his house and in fact died in 1972. Um, we were very lucky, um, we acquired this in Paris at Sotheby's, we were very lucky when I contacted the um, archives of Balenciaga in Paris to, um, to be uh, sent. They found the original sketch, the original photograph for the um, archives that the house made, um, which hopefully you can now see um, as well. Um, and you can see very much that it is... Um, it's, it's, I think it's great fun because it is, you can see a real woman wearing it. I can't actually put it on my screen, but it's there. Um, and obviously, um, you also see that um, models of the dresses were made in different fabrics, different colours. And um, this one has a little pink swatch attached, which obviously suggested that they must have made it in pink as well as yellow. Um, but it is quite interesting to see a really a, a late 60s model uh, with a nice 60s hair. A haircut in it as well so you get the the the, the dress sort of taken away from the, the the female form and then obviously shown with it um anyway we have a number of balenciaga dresses so i'm hoping very much that once we reopen at some point we'll be able to do a, a design and focus show um and to um to, to um exhibit some of our our lovely outfits anyway thanks for listening cheers bye